are you scared to buy with QFL? If so, this video is going to make you feel maybe a little bit less scared about buying some crypto. Um, so let's just go over the rules really fast. I think like the most important rules when you're trading this is, is the two rules that make it a 98% success rate. 98% success rate, that's impossible. It is possible. Here's how you do it. Okay, first things first, understand this. First rule is, is the base crack, okay? So that right there was a base crack. Then rule number two is a panic. And that right there is a panic. Now, is that a panic? Yes. But wait a second. You're on the short coin. Oh, okay, yeah. So short coins, different game, okay? But with me, I'm going to let you in a little secret about what I'm doing. Um, it's going to relate to this short coin situation um, because I just don't recommend trading short coins. They're like leverage tokens. Um, all you need to know is, is that they will drop really far and they will never come back up, okay? Like it's really dangerous to do that. Um, so what we're going to do is, is let's load up um, a coin. I just placed this train. <laughs> Oh, look at that. So originally I was going to sell it right here. Okay. Cause I'm like, Oh, that's the, that's the real base. And that's not a real base because it's, you know, three, 3%. Um, and I mean, I guess you can consider that, you know, it's still, it's just like 10% versus what, like 20. That's the real base. So it came down and, and, you know, it, it only came down like 3% and it's like, Oh, yeah. but like, I know this coin really well, so I'm okay with trading it. Um, this is a small, small amount, okay? Um, but I know the coin really well. I'm going to show you, I'm going to let you in a little secret what I'm using. I'm using two things to qualify like all of my trades. And let's take a look. So here's here's the deal, is that this used to be a free indicator. It's the ProSum Solution indicator. And it, it, you know, I've been telling you to get this. Like I've been telling you like, there, there should be no reason why you don't already have it, but it's okay if you don't have it. Now, I know they do charge money for this indicator, but what you can do is you can watch how I'm using it and create this experience for yourself. Um, you know, I, I just want to show you what I'm doing because I think you can recreate how I'm doing this. Um, and that is, is you can take like a paintbrush tool and just say, okay, well, you know, obviously it came down and just slayed like devastating amount. So let's, let's talk about what I would recommend to do for that situation right there. Now look, from top to bottom, that's, um, let's see, it, it went about 60% on sale. So what I do is, is I say, okay, well, it drew the base right there. That's not really where a base is supposed to be, but that's about 55%. And that is actually this red line right here is 55% on sale from here down to here. And you can see like, here's 55%. So you don't need this tool to figure out 55%. You can take one of these, you can click on the ruler, you can click on these measuring tools that are tucked away in the price price range section. I add that to my favorites. My favorites are down here, boom. I can just click on that. And you know, look, I can even do from top to bottom. And even though it's right here instead of right here, it doesn't really matter. Look, I can just take the highest point and just say, hey, 55%, 55% off, like that's gonna be a good deal. I should be buying right in there. So I can even take that peak, like, look, like 55. Yeah, I know 55 was only right there. But I'm just saying like 55% off, it's like think of Black Friday. And so that really is kind of like my big secret that I have been saying in prior videos is like, hey, get over 50% off. This is Black Friday. Are you excited about something that's only 5% on sale? And you could be like, well, you know, this right here, this was only, you know, 3% on sale. You know, if you were to measure this base down, well, that's only, you know, 3 or 4% on sale. What about that? And I'm like, yeah, you know, look. I'm buying a super small amount right here. And that implies that I'm going to buy some right here, here, and here. So technically this is the first of like four layers that I'm going to do. Now, what I recommend is this is actually something I did tell to somebody and they have been making money doing this. Um, I told them, Hey, you know, now they, they have the indicator. They were able to get it for free because it was still free at the time. But I was like, yeah, once it reaches down to like 20 to 30%, like basically in this zone right here, I'm like, start layering. 
like that. So they're not buying all up in here. You know what I mean? But I am because I just, I know this coin really well. Like I know it like the back of my hand. I, I just, I enjoy it. And also like with the syndicator, look at how nice this is. I can see how many triangles are on the screen. I'm like one, two, three, four, sell. One, two, three, four, sell. One, two, three, sell. It almost hit the fourth one. One, two, three, four, you know. One, two, three, four, sell. Like it's literally just been going one, two, three, four, sell. One, two, three, four, sell. Like even this one, one, two, three, sell, one, two. But I could even say like one, two, three, four. Like it just comes down, do, 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 do. And then it comes back up. And then it's like one, two, three, four. So you can kind of see like you can do that without the indicator. You can just, you know, look at it without the indicator. And, you know, it, it may look scary without the indicator. Like, oh, I don't have the indicator. But you know what? You can kind of see like this little red drop. It's like it goes down about that much. And so it's like it goes down about that much. 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 And, you know, I know there's a wick right here, but that's what you're preparing for. So like when it's going down in that amount, there's buy layers yeah you see what i'm saying and so they don't see that but like in this gray area there's little buy areas right here and so in this gray area look i'm i'm gonna be buying it like that i want some and like even if this coin continues to go down i want some because this particular coin performs really well and you know i'm willing to load up at you know in between two and one at like 1.5 so it's at five right now um you know, and, and the other thing, I, I said this in another video, but what I do is I take the first two numbers that aren't zeros. So in this case, I've got five and one. And then down here, I've got one and five. And so I just think of things in terms of 10 to 99. That's how I think of things. From 10 to 99, it's just a scale. And so I've traded enough within these two areas that I feel very comfortable. Um, so 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, 10s, I get that. And so I'm able to play this um, and feel comfortable just memorizing those particular numbers. And you can see, like, if you go to different coins, even though it may have a bunch of zeros in front of it, like this SHIB coin, look, do, 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 36. Same exact thing of what we were just trading a second ago, except it's just got a bunch of zeros in front of it. It, it trades exactly the same in terms of percentages. So if I'm like, oh, well, if I'm in the 50s, man, I'd love to get some in the 30s. And that's like, you know, right here. I'd love to get some right here. And so I can take this measuring tool and I don't need the indicator. You see what I'm saying? And so ideally you'd want to get off of the indicator and just rely on measuring. But if you want to take it one step further, start looking at the scale. That's when it gets taken to another level. And then even just looking at how far it drops, you know, um, it's funny. Actually, we were, we were doing that just now. Look, this was only this far. And then this normally would have been like that far, maybe. And so like here's outside of the safe circle for, you know, outside of the normal drop into a safe circle for like a nibble. And so it's not really crossing a base like, yeah, it's crossing that base. But whenever it goes down, it usually goes up about that much. Whenever it goes down, it usually goes up that much. So it's like I'm, I'm you know, using odds to my favor. But ideally, you want the panic drop crossing a base. That, and and uh, this happened within 10 minutes. Like there was nothing you could do. The exchange just froze. And so you really do kind of have to like plan out your money in advance or have a robot, you know, setting your layers up for you. Um, you know, when a base is created, that's the, is what I've been doing for a long time. I'm doing new things now, but you can get the idea. Um, the final piece of the puzzle of the secret thing that I'm doing is with the new ProSum solution uh, indicator, they've got this part. And I, I feel like I've said it before, but they've got enable trade eligibility conditions. And so I've got my, um, uh, my Hork up uh, base 13, this right here. This will add um, a, a bunch of bases. And so what I can do is, is I can choose like really major bases and then I'll turn the layering on eventually. So um, you can see like in this case, it won't draw bases that are above the major base. And that right there is a game changer. Like it will only buy in these green zones. And so like I can scroll through a lot of these and you can see that it won't start layering until let me turn this green zone off but like it will stay down and uh, man there's a lot of wicks that's really awesome looking at some maybe opportunities um but yeah i mean like that right there has been like my big hack and i guess that's really what i'm showing you right now is that it it won't start to layer until it's in the green and you can see these other bases these minor bases and I, I like knowing about them but it's like that's not a base and so you don't want to be buying above the major base that's the big secret to all this let's scroll through a couple of these and just see like what the algorithm is doing like 
gosh, look at that. It went past 55% on sale. That's just nuts. Like, that blows my mind. It was a CQT, man. It is not performing well, I'll tell you that much. I mean, you know, you don't want coins like, that's like CQT. I, I don't know a lot about that coin. That's a newer coin on Kraken. My gosh. Oh my gosh. That's insane. You would have never, ever layered that low. You would have never, like the exchange just froze. You have never been able to get that price that low. That's insane. Um, that's just insane. But you can see, like, as we're scrolling through, like, the dark green is where the layers are at. And that's where you want to be buying. And so, like, I feel completely safe just leaving. And even if it's, like, putting an algorithm right up here, uh, algorithmic base right here, still, it's like, if I were to run this, like, as a bot, man, I'm going to feel safe. Gosh. That's insane. I, I haven't like scrolled through and seen like the the destruction, devastation of the market. Man, that was that was a huge like huge opportunity. Um, I hope you took care of it. But you can see like again and again and again, it's it's putting the bases. Now I know like it's kind of confusing seeing you know all that stuff in the background. My apologies, but um, I'm not sorry at all. Like I'm showing you some secret sauce. You can see that it's keeping the base down low, and when it does come down low, that it's safely trading. So yeah, I mean, this has been my secret sauce and it's what I'm using and I feel very safe, you know, checking on this, but you know, you don't need it because you can just grab this thing, measure down like 55%. And then what you can do, this is what I recommend is the QFL style where it's like 10, 10, 10, you know, a hundred, um, a thousand. Well, I mean, <laughs> depending on how much money that you have, you know what I'm saying? Like 10, 10, 10, a hundred, 500. 1500 let's say i mean just depending on if you're wanting to trade a lot of coins or whatever um and even then look like you're not getting down here where like 55 percent below this base is but it like you know this is really where the juice is is like this area right here that's where you want to like take your size for sure and, and it's dependent upon the coin but i mean look in this case that would have been like I'm talking about like right there and you can see like as we zoom in on this i mean again this is a freak occurrence but this is what i'm talking about that you're going to be preparing for is this and because of the fact that look that's where it's it stops it stopped right there and yeah i mean it did the highest high was above this but that's my point is just like look look at what it's doing like it's retracting down to here and coming back up to here do it again i mean you can see like this little area right here, it's where it's at. Like that's where the nectar is. That's where the juice is. And so if you can measure these V's out, you know, use, use an in indicator. That's a cute. I mean, there's like, like the one that I'm, I'm doing is the hork up one. This is, this is something really cool. I'll, I'll show you this. This is actually really awesome. Um, that you can do is, uh, cause I like base lines. Those are cool. But if you really are just like, man, I need to see this, um, the three hour and the two hour, I mean, really, the four hour, three hour, two hour, one hour, and 45 minute. So between six and nine, check this out. But for, for sake of this video, I'm just going to do the resolution nine, three hours. Um, I'm going to turn this into an area. I'm just going to make it look like that. That's going to look crazy. And I like green because it reminds me of money. And I'll bring this opacity down. And you already see what we're doing. So when price goes into that zone, and then we could do one more just to, you know, I don't know if you want to add the bases. That that actually kind of looks cool. And then you got minor bases right there. Huh. And then maybe we could keep those in too. Maybe that's maybe that's too much. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe that's too much for you to handle on the screen. So maybe what you might do is is you might make another area, but you'll make this area like green and you know, maybe like a really, really faint green and no thickness okay and then maybe on like this we'll make like maximum thickness so there's an actual line so you could be like okay the one with the thick line that's the one i want to care about not this green right here in the, the background like i want to care about i mean yeah you could you could do that that's like small amounts but like the moment that it starts going to this thick green right here that's where you want to be taking your size and then you're like well you know how far down do i want to get before i start buying well you know with the thick green line if it's if it if you can see it being below the the base like it's it's lower than it usually is um now i know it didn't go all this far 35 percent but below the major base i've noticed that 35 percent like if you're going to buy right here then like let's say right here then 55 is right here 
and even like right here uh 55 percent on sale is like right here so you can see like between 35 and 55 basically that they correlate like right there so this would be a minor base this is a major base so the major base 35 minor base 55 and that's just for particular coins like this particular coin um may not work as good as like you know uh like a crap like a crap coin is gonna maybe go even further than 55 percent or that 35 percent if it's a major base um but i mean gosh it's just so helpful so helpful you know to have these tools available because they they show me my measurements and look at that like isn't that great so so the pro sum solutions indicator with the qualification uh right here the way i have it set up now i know th just that's the three hour on the hork up thing it's just i've customized it with a custom pine script but that's what that means is like the three hour hork up is eligible when the the qf the pro sum solution indicator base that's really that's a lot of words that don't make sense in my brain for some reason <laughs> when the base of the indicator that i'm on right now is less than my hork up safe green zone it's less than this chart indicator data point then enable the trade uh layers and that's what's happening so it goes down to the green zone and it enables the bot to start working and you can see like it's the safest of the safe trades like it's just safe like i can scroll through any of these and just feel completely confident i'm on a one hour chart and uh i mean you can go into a you know a lower time frame with this um and i know it's a paid indicator it was free i told you to get it i told you i told you to get it i was like this is the sickest thing you got to get this indicator and yeah you know they charge him for it now i mean and they keep making it better so it's like it's hard to kind of be like oh make it free or make make a free version it's like man it is what it is like it's it's just like it is what it is man i'm just gonna have to like marvel at this for a second just like scroll through and just be like yeah you know in that case like luna um, you can see it just went up, went up, went up. And, and, uh, now it did create, you know, a base and it went down and it probably will eventually actually, as I zoom in, this is a great example. So as I zoom in on the time frame, it will, um, begin to put layers within here. Um, because it's very base happy, I guess is the best way of explaining it. It's not like the perfect indicator, but like this combination between two indicators is just like unreal. Let's see here. Let me put it down on the one minute just to show you it triggering on its lower time frame. Um, let's see if it'll do it. No? Huh. That's interesting. Oh, you know what? It might not be... Um, it, it might be a different setting, um, knowing me. Yeah, I put the volume moving average on 60 to smooth it out. So um, it's it's not actually going to be up there um, on this one. Yeah, this is a little... Also a little hack that I got. This volume moving average, you got to put it to 60. It'll smooth it out a little bit. I just found that out. But, I mean, 6 is fine. Um, it just smooths out the bases a little bit more. So, yeah, which is which is why, if you look at this, you can see why I'm doing this is because I'm like, that's not a base, like, way up there. And so here's what it does. Wait for it. Boom. See how it smoothed it out? Mm, mm. Man, I'm dropping all kinds of gems. And this is free. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not making that private, but that's free. Um, so, yeah, I feel like there's enough sauce for you to work with here, you know, whether you're measuring 55% below, whether you're layering, you know, getting 21 to 34 to 55%, you know, in that zone, in the green zone, um, you know, just layer up and, and stay safe. I think that's like the biggest aha and, and study the coins and see which ones, you know, the most volatile and, and trade the ones that, you know, you feel comfortable with trading, stay away from the crap coins. That's, that's really the only advice that can be given at this point, you know? <laughs> so good luck.